The Crown is done presenting its evidence, and now the defense has begun laying out its case in the trial of Umar Zamir, accused of killing Toronto Police Constable Jeffrey Northrup in July 2021. The defense's first witness, Zamir's childhood friend. The friend testifying that he was with the family briefly on that fatal night on Canada Day as they walked around Nathan Phillips Square. He says Zamir had called him to let him know they were in the area. When he met up with Zamir, his eight-month pregnant wife and their two-year-old son, they caught up, took some photos and then parted ways just after midnight before the family went back to their parked car. Zamir has pleaded not guilty to first-degree murder. Prosecutors allege Zamir made a series of maneuvers with his BMW that caused Northrop's death. Previously, officers who were there that night provided eyewitness testimony. Northrop's partner, the now Sergeant Lisa Forbes, telling a jury that she did identify herself multiple times to the family and that she observed Northrop standing in front of the car with his hands up and palms out just before impact. Meanwhile, the defense says that Zamir and his wife did not know the plainclothes officers were actually police when they were approached in the near empty parking garage and that they drove away because they feared for their lives. Zamir's wife testifying that her husband at one point told her to call 911 or police and that when they first drove away, she believed they had driven over a speed bump. Umar Zamir is expected to take the stand at some point during the trial. It resumes on Monday at the University Avenue Courthouse. Erica Natividad, City News.